Hello, today's devotional can be found in the topical guide under the topic of welfare. And it can be found in Luke chapter 10, verse 34. Brought him to an inn and took care of them. Now this is related to the parable of the Good Samaritan. And you know what? It's okay to be different. It's okay to separate oneself from the crowd and be kind and charitable when others think it uncool or mock you for doing so. It's okay to be different. It's okay to reach out to others who have been marked as untouchables by society at large or even by the Mormon culture. It's okay to stand apart and to give service and kindness where others will not. We are, there will be times in our lives when we will be in need of the Good Samaritan. And there will be other times in our lives when we will be the Good Samaritan who is needed. Life is too short to not take advantage of the opportunity to do some good. We may not have the money or other resources to spare, but we can spare time, we can spare a smile, we can spare simple things that don't cost any money at all. God forbid we get to the judgment bar and God asks us why we were not more generous with our time. Because Time is one thing we can give. It doesn't cost any money. It just takes a little sacrifice from us. And it's okay. It's okay to sacrifice our time in the doing of good. Because there are always, there's always going to be someone who needs help. And there's always going to be a way that we can help. And in order to know how we can be of help, we need to be in tune with the Holy Spirit of God. And the Lord will tell us how we can be of help if we are listening and looking to be. If we have our spiritual ears and eyes on, then we will be able to hear not only with our heart, but with our mind. How we can be of help and how the Spirit wants us to be of help. We are certainly capable of being good Samaritans. And we cannot expect that help will come to us always if we are always ignoring those in need of help, even when we are in a position to be able to give them help. Generosity includes giving of one's time, even if we don't have any other resources to give. Generosity includes giving of one's compassion and stepping away from the crowd that may say that that person is not worth your time. He's better, he or she is better off by themselves in their suffering. They chose it. They deserve to suffer. No. People may choose their suffering, but they, they will suffer. That's, that's enough. That. Why do we need to add to it by ignoring them? It's very pointless to hate a person who has made a bad decision. Once it's made, they're stuck with it. They have to deal with that process on their own, but we can at least give them compassion. And be kind and not be like everybody else who may judge and hate them. We can show compassion. We can be the Good Samaritan if we so want to. We can bring them out of their suffering, even for a moment, and take care of them and make them feel as if they are valued. Because who knows, even a simple act of compassion may prompt them to want to change themselves and their lives and come to God. A simple act could be a catalyst for a paradigm shift, but as, if nobody's there to show a simple act of kindness, how will a person have an opportunity to change and want to abandon the choices that brought them into a place of suffering? We don't know for sure. So, 
we can be like everybody else and pass the suffering by and focus only on ourselves and what we have to do and ignore the needs that are around us and use excuses and hide behind family and whatever else as excuses not to do anything about what we see. Or we can step away from the crowd and be an example to others and reach out and have compassion and lessen the suffering a little bit. I mean, it's our choice, but we are capable of it. And if we don't use our capability to be compassionate and show compassion, we may have that eventually taken away from us because those who choose to be selfish will be granted the curse of not having the opportunity to be anything but. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.